What's up guys, Matt back again with another tier list video for Ichiban Kuji and of course I'm not alone, I always have him dragged along with me to do these. It's Mr. Brian Tata Charizard, say hello to the people. What's going on everybody? What's going on everybody? Oh, dude, this beat is funky as hell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're listening to the superhero uh, theme song in the background. But anyways, uh, guys, today we are doing history of the film. I saw a few of you uh, excited for this, looking forward to the tier list of this set. Um, this has quite frankly been an amazing set to open and review for you guys. But before we get into the tier list itself, uh, please remember to uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the bell so that way you get notified whenever I make a new video. I try to upload every week. Like this video if you enjoy it. And of course, comment your thoughts down below in the comment section on this tier list once the tier list is done. So that way we can exchange thoughts or tier lists on this set itself. Um, of course, remember to subscribe to Brian's channel. Try Brian Brian does here. That, that's Brian. It, by the way, if you didn't know, that's Brian. That's try it. hard Brian. Uh, right. Hashtag try hard Brian. Um, What'd you say? <laughs> hashtag try hard Brian. There you go. Um, you stuttered last time. <laughs> no, I did not stutter. You that's did. not what the word stutter means. Anyways, <laughs> actually, don't subscribe to his channel because he does Dragon Ball Super Card Game over there. Yeah. And it's incredibly cringe. Like he all is. All the time. In, he try hard. He's, he's trying so hard in all of his videos. Here Such I a am. try hard. I am. Anyway. <laughs> um, uh, but Brian, we're here. Um, we are, bro. I think, oh, I'm so excited to do this one, man. Uh huh. And so I had to, you guys, I don't know if I can use this song in the video. I, I'm going to try. But um, yeah, I hope so. I'm going to look fucking stupid if it's not. <laughs> I was I like really dancing like, to it like the first half of the video while you were talking. I, 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 I really love the superhero theme song. Really I needed good. to pick some hype music for us to listen to while making this tier list. Yeah. Um, hopefully you guys at home can hear it too. But hopefully. if not, sorry, just look it up. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, um, I think this will be kind of difficult uh, yeah. for the most part. Yeah. Um, I have some strong thoughts on a lot of these. Um, I will like, I, well, I will. I would <laughs> like to say, uh, starting out, I, this is my favorite Ichiban Kuji, okay? Yes. It's my favorite Ichiban Kuji ever. Um, so like, even eighth place in this is like one of my favorite figures. Um, but I have a lot of favorites in this set. This, I, I really, really like this set. Yeah, this was really hard. To like, we have to be You're so really hard. Don't yeah. tell them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing baggy pants for a reason. <laughs> God. Anyway, yeah. So this is gonna be. Uh, it's gonna be really hard to rank this set because everything in this is a banger, man. Like this is a awesome set. Like, ah, uh, you know what? Go, go ahead and kick it off, Matt. Tell the people where we're starting out. All right, eighth place. Yes, sir. Uh, Beerus Sama. Uh, I really love the fact that we have a Beerus figure. I love Beerus in general. It's probably one of my favorite Dragon Ball <laughs> Super characters. Um, but like, but look, they just kind of like, there's just, just little things on this figure that I was like, no, no. The like, face, huh? It's, it was the face it's and the like face. his, his face isn't like, uh, subtly connected to like his ears you can like clearly see on the side of his head that where it disconnects yeah. so it's kind of like a glaring thing yeah. um, if you're if you're like a, a, a anal about your figures like me um, and like he he's got shading on his pants but it, it there's like nothing really dynamic about him that like jumps out at me you know um, he's really good and it's cool that we have Beerus as a masterlies but frankly I just think um, he's not at the same level as a lot of these other figures so uh i disagree ah i am putting goten here i figured you'd put goten here yeah i honestly i thought you were gonna put goten there like you but i was i was genuinely I, uh, shocked <laughs> so i have goten in seventh place um, okay i really I like goten. so we're just swapped on that then because that's where i was gonna put beerus was seventh because his face separating from his ears like that is just way too and like if you look at him now compared to how he is like in super like i'm looking at the movie case of battle of gods right now it's like his face 
Like, I don't know, that art that you used in your video, like, he looks so weird in that art. You that was Toriyama's I mean? concept art. <laughs> yeah, like, I just, his face looked weird. Like, yeah. he, he definitely looks a lot better now. Uh, like, you know, like in the, the Tournament of Power and stuff like that. But, yeah, uh, you know, his face was just a little disappointing for me as well. I, I think it looks great. You know, I'm, that's awesome that we have a Beerus figure. Hopefully we get a Whis one soon to go with it. Oh, That'd yeah. be awesome. I know um, how you love Whis, man. I do. Whis is just, he's cool, man. Like, I <laughs> love Whis. I, I do. I, um, yeah, I, you know, I think, dude, but like his shackles and everything else, like the way they got like the glossiness of his shackles and like, you know, his, like his outfit, everything, it looks really good. Like you said, there really wasn't a lot of shading, but you know, you could give or take from that. Like, you know, it could give, a, you know, it doesn't really need it that much. I feel, I still think he looks great. It's just his face, you know, his, he's got a little bit of a butter face and the separation they could have done a little bit better on, but yeah, yeah I think seventh place uh, for my Beerus uh, is where he belongs. And then the reason I have Goten as eighth, um, I don't, is it okay if I jump into this map? Sure, sure. Okay, okay. So I just want to interrupt you. <laughs> <laughs> but, just uh, stop trying so hard, Brian. I, I can't help it. It's who I am. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the reason Goten is here is just because, again, if you guys haven't caught our other tier list videos, go check those out. Matt, uh, leave a link in the description or up in the cards somewhere if you want. Um, but, you know, it's just another small figure, and it didn't come with anything. You have to buy it separately again, which is just like... They keep doing that and don't get me wrong out of all the things that we reviewed so far cell jr Cyberman pan this Goten is by far the best one. He looks yeah. so good. He looks he's so a lot bigger good. too. What's up? He's 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 pretty significantly bigger like two yeah. inches. Yeah, I agree He's definitely a lot bigger than all the other ones we reviewed but and if you put him next to Gohan like ah, oh, it looks so good like uh, but him, we're, he's just, we're ranking him by himself. Um, he, he's an amazing figure. I definitely, you know, I, the only reason I'm putting him in eighth place is just because he's, again, another $45, $35 figure that's by himself. He is a little bit bigger than all the other ones, but granted, uh, which, you know, he is, he, you know, the scaling is pretty good. I just, compared to everything else on the list, um, I just feel like he just doesn't hold, you know, even compared to Beerus's Butterface. I feel like, you know, it's still Beerus. We still have a full scale, which I feel like Beerus's scale is very accurate. And, you know, regardless of his butterface, I still feel like Goten is below him. Anyway, Matt, uh, that is, those are my thoughts, brother. That's that's fair. Let's see, I like Goten because, yes, he should have just come with Gohan, but he's a, he's a lot bigger than I thought he'd be. He's about five inches. Um, he's really great to scale. Like, he's just a kid. Um, but I would say... He's he's kind of worth being on his own with how they made it. Plus, um, the way that they made him and his and Gohan's hair, um, it's not like super heavily shaded. It's very subtle, um, and it's more of this like solid yellow um, color that they did with the Gogeta in the the prequel set yes. um, for Back to the Film. Mm -hmm. And I really love how they did his hair. So that really caught my eye. I like that these two are some of the more dynamic figures in the set compared mm -hmm. to like Beerus. I know Beerus is like kind of doing an iconic, you know, pose of his, but Destruction. just these two are firing off a freaking bros Kamehameha. Even if they're separate, they're still battle damaged figures with scuffs and great likenesses and their hair is blowing away and they're shooting out a Kamehameha. It just looks so cool. Like now they're both at the forefront of my, my uh, movie uh, shelf and I just think they both look great. Like Beerus is cool, um, but, but I just think Goten like edges him out a little bit because he has a little more style, a little more craft, uh, and he's a little more dynamic. That's that's basically how you know I what? edge him out. You know what, Matt? No, you're right. I agree. I am right. Shut and up. Don't you fucking forget it. <laughs> <laughs> you stick to your fucking cards. I'm gonna stick to my toys. No. <laughs> 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 no, um, uh, you know what? You make a good point. The battle damage and the fact that his hair is blowing back, you know, 
You're you're right. I and he's I doing a hard pose, bro. He he's is. going hard. He is. That is a really good go ten figure. I don't. And think they go with another figure in the set. Yeah, and then even if he is by himself, he still looks good. So, yeah. I I will actually agree with you as much as I hate fucking doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I will agree with you. We will put. I will put. Uh, Beerus on eighth. I almost stuttered super hard, but I saved it. Good, good, do it. <laughs> no, do it <laughs> now. Um, uh, no. All right, I think this whole set's gonna be so divisive. Uh, dude, us, really though? Okay. I think the whole thing is gonna be crazy. Cause okay, go here's ahead. my Let's... sixth place. Go ahead, brother. Metal cooler, metal cooler. Yeah, metal cooler, metal cooler for sixth place. Um, really like him. Really like him. Uh. I usually don't like glossy figures, but you kind of have to with this one. Um, mm -hmm. But he's super, super cool. But his base form kind of outshines him in every way. Um, they don't come together, which they kind of should have, but there are mm. some differences. Like their tails disagree. are different. Uh, well, shut up. Uh, their tails are different <laughs> and uh, their feet are different. You can see like um, where Metacooler's joints uh, connect. Mm -hmm. They have like wiring. Um, instead of, you know, it's just his arm. So I like that. There's some attention to detail there, but compared to the others, uh, much like, like everything from here on, from seventh place onward, there's seven out of seven figures that I ranked, you know? Right. Um, but like, I think just every figure after this is just like, let me look at this. I'm pretty sure every, uh, as spoilers, every figure after Metacooler is gonna be on my top 10 figures of the year list unless something in the next two Kuji sets blows me away. I'm not gonna attack you for that stutter. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so- It's my speech impediment. <laughs> I'm here to make fun of it. <laughs> anyway, so you're probably gonna fucking crucify me for this, but I disagree, brother. Really? Let me grab it right now. Where are you, Brian? Where are you? <laughs> I got a box cutter and I'm not afraid to use it. Oh god. So I am actually gonna put Broly. Bruh. Did you hear me? I, I heard you. Okay, I just <laughs> <laughs> I'm in shock. I thought I wasn't sure. I didn't know that the Discord was shock. being a little ho again, so Alright, uh, go ahead. Okay, so the reason I am putting Broly here. Uh, a lot of you may disagree with me. You may agree with me. I don't know. Uh, don't really care. But uh, <laughs> the reason I'm putting Broly here is because, dude, his pose. What is up with his pose? Like, what do you mean? He's just like, like he's about what? to like throw a blast and no, destroy you. They're, dude, like they put the the Sun Brothers together. And they're doing the Kamehameha. The best thing they could have done was made him like look like he's about to shoot a gigantic blaster at them from the movie. And they're going to take the brothers and put them in that pose where they're clashing with his ultimate attack, but then make him just go, yeah, blah, 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 like that. Well, because they already kind of did that with that with other King, King Cluster, Cluster Brawler. Yeah. Brawler? The King Cluster Brawler? <laughs> King, King Cluster Brewer. Um... Cause I mean, and technically the way that figure is designed, he's more like from the first movie instead of the second movie because he doesn't have the scars and stuff. True. See, but they could have put the scars on him. They could. He does. This one does have the scars. I know. I'm saying with the with that pose. I'm saying with that pose. Uh, uh, oh, well, I don't know because I will. I will say this: it is like following the style of that Back to the Film Broly too, who is with the crouching veininess. and spread out. Yeah, you know, with the veininess, but also kind of like the same energy and pose mm -hmm. that, right, that it definitely. has. And I mean, I will say compared to the Dragon Ball Super iteration that was like this, the veininess on this one looks a lot better. It's a lot better. I'm not yeah. knocking this figure at all. It's just for me, I think his pose is just weird, man. Like, okay. he looks good. I feel like the veininess of him really goes better with this Broly compared to the other one. And his hair mold looks great. His sculpt looks amazing. You know, they definitely define his uh, muscles really well, shading's all good, and I love, love his uh, cape thing that he has. Dude, it looks so good. Like, the, the colors on that the sash, pops, yeah, yeah. yeah, dude, it pops so well. 
and I really just, uh, yeah, his pose for me is really just, it's really, like, like I said at the beginning of this, we had to be nitpicky, and I'm being nitpicky, and that pose is just weird. I feel like Homeboy is just like, like, I want to make a joke here, but my brain can't think of one fast enough, and I just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and for me, man, I just, the, the pose, like, they got the Sun Brothers doing his Kamehameha to fight his gigantic blaster from the movie. You know, it's cool that he has his, like, scars from Goku, like, punching him in the chest way harder than usual. I don't really get how he died from that, but, uh... <laughs> I, <laughs> he exploded. Yeah, literally, Homie got punched. His abs were so hard that when they got punched by Goku, he just... Homie was just like, okay, so explode. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and, I mean, it's just like... Like, uh, yeah, the pose, man. I just don't like the pose. I don't, I'm not okay. digging the pose. So... Okay, okay. Yeah, so, but, uh, who are you putting in fifth place, my friend? Brother. The forking is obviously a pawn- <gasps> WHAT THE HELL?! <laughs> If you guys don't know, Janemba is my favorite villain besides Super Baby 2. I know. I know. You I'm whore. sorry, bro. How I'm dare? I'm sorry, bro. How dare? First of he's all, just, how he's, dare? He's cool. He's cool. Um, Could have been a little bit bigger. Um, And I wish they gave him his sword, made him a little more dynamic. But, like, homie's just standing there and, like, cool. Like... He's, he's fine. <laughs> oh my god, I'm fuming over here. <laughs> I just think the others are better, that's all. Well, I don't wrong. have a bias towards Janemba either, so I'm sure that plays into it. Wow. I, I, I'm sure he's Fifth? your number one. I at least thought he was going to be top three for you. <laughs> Oh my uh, that's god! What I, I was telling you weeks ago when I when I unboxed these. I'm like, you're gonna like have a cow when I tell you like who's the best. I already know who you're gonna pick for the best. I I I just guessed who. I'm I'm guessing in my brain right now. I swear okay. to God, if I'm right. <laughs> okay, so I strongly disagree with that choice. Uh, Janemba is not fifth for me. I don't know how editing Matt is going to differentiate our characters here, but uh, for fifth place, I'm putting Metacooler. So, so far for me, it's Beerus, Goten, Legendary Super Saiyan Broly, and Metacooler for fifth place. Fucking Janemba? Fucking <laughs> Janemba. <laughs> I'm happy I have him. I love, I love the figure a lot. I just think the others are better. I spit everywhere, man. I can't believe you put him there. <laughs> anyway. Go. I mean, I, okay. I'll I, fix it up later. I'll okay, fix it up later. Okay. All right. Fourth place for me. <laughs> Gohan. Really? Yeah. Really? Uh, I, I, so I really, really like this figure. This is my yeah, favorite. Yeah. This is my new favorite Gohan figure in my entire collection. Um, a lot of the same reasons I love Goten, I love this Gohan. Like, the color of the hair, his hair's blowing back, his likeness, the battle damage and the scars. He's in a Kamehameha. He's a great size, like, super, super awesome figure. Like, definitely the coolest Gohan figure you can get. And he's so slept on in this set. Um, like, I'm just happy Gohan's getting all this love this year, man, but... I, I was not expecting this figure to be as good as it was. Like, I, I had zero thoughts about it when everything came. And when I opened it up, I was like, damn! Like, this Gohan is sick! Um, if you guys do not have this Gohan, you are missing out. Uh, you need this Gohan. 100%. Even if you don't get Goten with him. Um, I, I even had him in my top two originally, until I sat on these figures for a little bit longer. Um, but, yeah, I really, really love this Gohan figure. 
Hmm. I don't know if I agree with you or not, because part of me wants to, but then again, I also had somebody else in mind for this spot. But let me think on it for a second. Just give me one moment. Put the buffering wheel over my face, editing that. <laughs> You're just gonna like shut off for a minute yeah. and then come back. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Um <laughs> You need to download all your updates, Brian. Okay, you know what? I'll agree with you because there are a lot of Gohan figures, and he this one does look amazing. Uh, I do love the style and the battle damage and stuff like that. Uh, but we're going to be nitpicky, so I, I will agree with you on this one. We can both put Gohan in for Fucking get him in fifth place. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this is also my favorite iteration of Gohan. At the start of the Boo Saga when he's in his purple gi... Uh, I love the way Gohan looks. Do you and like Gohan it, better in Piccolo's gi or his father's gi? In Piccolo's gi. Okay. In which is what he wears in the manga in Dragon yeah. Ball Super, which I love that too. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Third place <sighs> for me 40. is Turles. Oh, okay. I thought that was my guess who I thought you were going to put for first. So glad yeah. to see I was wrong. Um, um, this is actually a lot of people's favorite... Uh, figure in this entire set. Um, Good reason. I will fully admit that while the likeness, the sculpt from his hair to his body, he's a thick boy. He's got amazing shading. They were able to capture the art style and the colors from his movie perfectly. Um, I am just not the biggest Turles or Tree of Might fan. Um, and I am biased towards my next two characters but i can fully admit it's a an amazing figure uh really happy to have it uh i, I just i like the other two better that i'm gonna place here okay so actually i am going to switch gohan and turles for my list just because while he does look really good the tree of might looks amazing i'm sorry the fruit and his hand looks really good. And <laughs> He's the holding the tree. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> and the shading, dude, okay, can we talk about the shading on him real quick, though? Oh, yeah, it's like, awesome. It's, it's super amazing. Good. It looks so good. He, he has um, the best shading out of anybody in this set. For sure. I definitely agree, but just the whole Tree of Might movie is just kind of lame. And then, dude, I just watched uh, Syriax's, like, Jeopardy thing. Yeah, and do, yeah. Do you remember what his gang was called? Uh, wasn't it the space space pirate crew? No, it was Turles's like crusher force or some something stupid as hell. And I was like, that is so lame. Like that's so yeah, lame. So that's that. I'm gonna take that into a fact. The Tree of Might movie is a little whack. You know, this was the OG Goku Black back in the day. Um, oh wait, is is Turles technically his brother or no? No, they have okay, no I, relation to each okay. other. They just See, look the same. <laughs> yeah, I just I feel like I should bring that up because I feel like a lot of people think that he is also part of the you know part of their family, but he's not. Yeah, they, so they are they, not related to each other. I had his someone ask a little bit different. You know, you it can is tell. a little different. It's so, like Wilder. Yeah. He's basically if Goku grew up as a Saiyan, basically instead and, of an Earthling. You know, and I will put so Turles for me is fourth, and I'll put Gohan in third, just because that Gohan figure is just amazing. It's super okay. good. Anyway. Cool. Cool. Um, who are you going with second, my friend? Uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> I spaced out for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking about Turles, and then like I got an idea for editing. Sorry, guys. <laughs> second place. He used to be my number one in this set until I sat on it. But second place for me... You didn't break it, did you? ...is cooler. Wow. Wow. I almost made him first place again in this set. Um, which is funny, because last year, back to the film, the best figure to me was cooler, and to Final many form. people. Um, uh, I will say this. My videos and the pictures for him do not do him justice. Um... When I got him and I took him out of the box, he was one of those where I was smiling ear to ear when I looked at him. Um, I'm not even like a huge Cooler fan. I love the Cooler movies and the character. I would love him to be canon, but imagine uh, Golden Cooler. Oh, that, I I just or, or oh, I almost spoiled the manga. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> I almost said something stupid. Um, but this figure is really nice. Like. <laughs> The shading, the colors, he pops so well. 
the size, like, I, I really, really love this figure. Um, and I'm super happy that they made a cooler so quickly. Um, and I know there's a big difference between him and Metacooler, but I think it just comes down to the uh, he's more iconic in his regular form. The colors and the yeah. shading on that are just make the figure pop a lot more rather than just like a blanket glossy color. Um, and he, he's just he's cooler. Uh, what what was it? Is it? I think we all learned that Freezer was cooler, and cooler was Freezer. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> uh, so why do a good point. Why don't you go ahead and just put the tier list how you want it to look, brother, real quick, so we can so the people can just see it. Yeah, okay. Um This is so, my tier list. That is your tier list. Why don't you tell the people what go ahead, go ahead and just share your thoughts with them and I will jump in and we'll <clears> move <throat> it around for me and I'll share my thoughts. Sure. Sure. Um, I was just re-watching my reaction video to the announcement of this set the other day. Um, and I remember even looking at Broly, who's last one prize. Um, I looked at Broly, I'm like, ugh. They're making another one of these veiny, realistic Brolies. Like, whatever. Everything else looks awesome. Um, I'm like, maybe it'll be cool, but I doubt it. I don't like the way it looks already. And then I got it. And... I was like, whoa, like no quality control issues almost in this entire set um, other than like very tiny, um, not big deal issues like with uh, Janemba and I think that's it. Yeah, um, it's just Janemba. But um, Broly just looks so good, especially in person. He's big. His They didn't go crazy with the shading. It doesn't look like he's got a sunburn like the last one. Um, the veins aren't like every single place they could fit it. It's mostly like in his arms over his biceps, which looks really good. Um, he's got a couple on his face to make it look like he's really straining. His likeness is really good, even though it's like a little stylized to what we don't always see. Mm -hmm. um, his hair is fuller, the, right? Uh, his hair is a little more full. It's I think it's more supposed to resemble he's like lunging forward and the wind's blowing it back. Oh, okay. Um, and his little scar in the front and back, they actually have like little fleshy details inside. Yeah, they didn't make um, it just paint this time. Yeah, it's not just paint. They like literally carved it in and then painted over it, but like actually added like shading within it. Mm -hmm. So it looks like flesh was is like showing there, which is kind of hardcore, bro. <laughs> like yeah. it, dude's fighting and he's got like a flesh wound on both sides of his body. It's just a flesh um, wound. <laughs> it's just a flesh wound. <laughs> um, and yeah, he's big. So he's really cool. Like. Um, I uh, really Ooh, love having him on, on the on the shelf now, and and it's 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 the second coming Broly. So like, I'm like, oh cool, it's technically a different Broly, um, because he's got the battle damage and stuff. But yeah, that's that's why I have him there. Um, I sh I was surprised myself over how much I liked him, um, considering how much I didn't like Back to the Films, uh, Super Broly. Super Broly. So that's my list. Okay, so go ahead and throw him down in fifth place so for on. me. No, no, remember I agreed with you on Beerus and. Oh, uh, um, okay, but you, I think you had this, right? Yes. Yeah. Go I ahead and throw. Think. Yeah, you know what's up. <laughs> uh, go ahead and put uh, Go Gohan in third. There you go. Now put. No, other way. Other way. There you go. Okay, so this is my tier list. Now, obviously, I mean, after I had my little fit about Janimba, I'm pretty sure, spoilers, you know, I was going to have him first. <laughs> he looks amazing, dude. And I feel bias. like... Bias! Bias! No, I no. call bias! Silence! <laughs> Editing that, quiet him. <laughs> <laughs> so, the reason I am putting him first, while well, Matt, you made some good points about, you know, he's just in one static pose, but from your review... You talked about that that pose was from whenever he first got done transforming, which is a badass Correct. moment. Correct. That's a badass moment. Now, they can make another Janemba later where he's like holding his sword or something like that. Oh, you, you have way too much faith in Bandai. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> I'm just saying, they could, again, They may. I feel like they made the right choice. I think it would have been cool if they would have like maybe had like his little like 
thing, that little like bloop or whatever the hell that thing was that turned into a sword, somewhere on him maybe it's like a cool. hammer or something. I don't know what the hell. I, and all this reminds like me of the, the like the tree of might fruit. Like that's what it reminded me of. I was <laughs> like, how do you get that? <laughs> and uh, obviously, cooler in second place. Uh, he obviously matches very well with the final form that he has. And obviously, when I think of cooler, I well. I mostly think of Shredder Cooler as Final Form, but obviously this form is obviously really cool. Whenever I first saw Metal Cooler, I was very disappointed because I was just like, not the figure, I mean the character in the movie. I was just like, right. why didn't they change him a little? Like even with Mecha Frieza, they kind of made him look somewhat like, you know, gave him new parts and he looked different. But with him, literally they were just like, Chrome, bam, done. He's mechanical. With like the big I, ghetto star. Bi <laughs> I was about to correct you, but that's funny. <laughs> and I, yeah, I just, yeah, I was very disappointed with that. But the, obviously the regular final form is the better version. I feel like that definitely deserves second place. But Janemba is such a badass figure. They nailed the way he looks, the shading, the pose, just get done transforming. I mean, if they don't make a sword holding version of him, if they would at least give him his first form, that would be really badass. I think it would match well with him. And, uh, I, you know, he could be smiling, like doing like an evil grin like he does, but I feel like that face right when he transforms, perfect. And for a first figure, Master Lee's figure for Jadimba, I love it. First, like best figure in the set for me. If Broly wasn't in his weird funky little pose, I would maybe put him a little bit higher. But that pose, regardless of how well the veins were placed, how awesome his sash is, stuff like that. I just his pose is just too much for me compared to all the great looking figures that we have in this list. But uh, uh Matt, I think it's kind At of at least no he is posing, unlike Janemba. I will murder you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till we end this call, young man. <laughs> but, uh, uh, Matt, I think it's kind of a no-brainer what we're going to rank uh, this Coogee. Oh, um, it's a 7 out of 7. Oh, hands down, try hard, Brian. 7 out of 7 uh, Dragon Balls for me as well. Regardless, snicker than a snicker. Thicker than a snicker. The forking was upon us in this video <laughs> for sure. Uh, Matt, do you want to do your out? Yeah, I'm doing your outro. Shut up. So, thank you guys so much for watching and, you know, listening to us just hackle and talk about these figures. This was an amazing set. By far the best Kuji I think Matt has ever reviewed on his channel. You guys should go check out our other tier list videos. Drop some comments down below. Let us know what you guys would rank this set. Let Matt know how stupid he is for putting Janemba in fifth place. And, you know, drop some comments as well. Let me know how much of a tryhard I am because I love hearing you guys hate on me. It gives me fuel and energy to do more stuff like this. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to catch uh, other videos from Matt. And if you guys want to, you know, check out my channel, I open Dragon Ball Super card game stuff. I'm sure Matt will throw up a clip. You guys can see me reacting. I'm very cringy. I'm extremely try hard on my channel as well. But if you guys want to go check out my stuff, feel free to. It's no big deal if you don't. But thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. And we will catch you. Yeah, damn it, I fucking stuttered. <laughs> Brian? What's up? Brian? Yes. Goodbye. Ah!